Good afternoon, gang. Well, today I want to do a test on a product. Uh, this is not a review whatsoever. I just want to try a test. Um, a little bit of a backstory. If I don't give it, I kind of feel like you guys are going to look at this and go, why is Joe doing this? So just to provide that or the context anyway. Um, the last couple months, I've been reevaluating uh, some kits that I have and to keep in the car that my wife carries, etc., etc. And I've wanted to provide a good, surefire option for them for the kits that my kids can use, that my wife can use, that I feel is as close to bomb proof as you can get. Um, you guys know, or probably know, unless you're really new to the channel, that I prefer natural tenders, but at the same point in time, in a survival situation, if you need a fire, I'm not going to be uh, biased, so to speak, to you know using a natural tender versus not. You know, As long as they or I can get a fire going, I don't care how it's implemented. So, um, that being said, I've been doing a bunch of research, and Ben from Living Survival really, uh, he did a review on a product that I really feel fits the bill for what I'm looking for. Now, I'll be honest, I have never used this before. I've owned it for probably five weeks or so, and I have been running that test on it since then. And the test is this, and the product is this. It's what's called the Live Fire Sport. One thing that I kind of wondered was, you know, if this is going to be in a kit that's kept in a car, um, how is it going to hold up to the repeated temperature differences, you know, like in the summertime? If it's sitting in the car, you know, the, the inside temperature of a car can read upwards of 160 degrees. So, you know, how is it going to go from 160 degrees and then cool down overnight and then back up to 160 degrees during the day? For ad infinitum, how is that temperature difference going to actually affect the usability of this product? But also flip the coin. In the wintertime, on average, I would say you're looking at about 15 degrees during the day. So, you know, how is this, this product going, how well is it going to work when it's 15 degrees outside? You know, when you open it up, is it going to be so brittle that you can't scrape it up like the directions say to actually break it up enough to, to catch it effectively on fire? Or is it going to be a chore to catch it on fire? And if you get it on fire, is it going to stay on fire? You know, so the, that's the test that I have in mind for today. So anyway, this is kind of how I have set this up. Now, it is summertime here, basically. You know, we're looking at temperatures of 90-ish degrees per day. Um, and down to anywhere from 50 to 75 degrees at night. So I've kind of had to fake this, so to speak. Um, as I'm speaking right now, there is one of these in my freezer inside, and I'll go get that. Um, my house is about 40 yards to my right. Um, I'll go get that when the test comes. This one right here, this specific one, um, it has spent some time in a black bag on my roof. It has spent some time in the glove compartment. It has spent some time in my pocket. So, you know, I've tried to keep the temperature above ambient temperature as much as possible, but also provide the up and down temperature differentials that you would expect from sitting in a car. Let's go ahead and get into this. All right, guys, again, this is a Live Fire Sport model. Um, we're just gonna open this up. This is the one that I've kept Um, I tried to keep it above ambient temperature as much as possible, and it is definitely has a chemically smell. Directions say to scrape it. Seems to be some kind of cotton material impregnated with some kind of accelerant waxy substance honestly I'm gonna get in there use my fingers to fluff this up just a little bit because my knife blade is not quite getting it all right just gonna use my Swedish fire steel boom right off the bat Question is, is it going to stay? Yep, sure is. Pretty darn neat. All right, I'm going to go grab the uh, the chilled stuff, and I'll be right back. I'm going to let this burn in the meantime, though. So enjoy the fireworks, guys. You guys need to be quick here. I want to show this real quick. See the condensation? That was ice, but it melted on the way out here. Anyway, this is at a, this is about 17 degrees. That's what my freezer is about. So before it warms up too much. Let's see what happens. This is much harder. It's actually scraping up a lot easier. Probably because it is harder. Whoops, come back here. You got these fibers 
It smells good, but not. It kind of smells like Lysol. Well, light's pretty quick. Let's see once that fuzz burns down, let's see what happens to the rest of it. All right, guys, well, test done, and I approve. Um, and looking over the test with the hot, the, the, the live fire kept at uh, a warmer than ambient temperature and looking at the live fire kept at a colder than ambient temperature, in fact, you know, about 17 degrees Fahrenheit, so below freezing, um, I would have guessed that the cold would have failed or have not worked as well as the live fire kept in the warmer climate. Um, and it was completely the opposite. And I really think, and, and looking back in my mind, that I think it was due to the fact that because it was frozen, um, it was more brittle and easier to fluff up, um, easier to break up into the finer material, you know, kind of create a wick for whatever accelerant that they have impregnated in that uh, absorbent cloth, cotton, whatever it is. So they both work well, they both work great. Uh, the cold seemed to work a little bit better, but that's neither here nor there. They both achieved flame, they both kept their flame, both work great. I have no complaints whatsoever. But one thing I want to point out before I conclude this video is that Live Fire has not sponsored this video. I bought these with my own money. Um, I phrased a question, and I forget exactly how I, how I worded it to Ben um, from Living Survival, his review of the Live Fire Sport. Um, something about, you know, how I thought he, um, or how he felt these would hold up over the temperature differential of, you know, throughout the summer, you know, heating up, cooling down, heating up, cooling down, and then throughout the winter of getting, you know, freezing and coming up to, you know, above freezing temps over and over and over again. Um, but the boys at Life Fire said, hey, Joe, if you actually do that test, we would love for you to post the results. So while they have not sponsored this, they asked me to do it, and so that's why I'm posting this today. So anyway, guys, like I said, I approve. Definitely passed this test, and I'm definitely going to be buying some more. Um, buy some fresh ones to put in my wife's kit, my kids' kits, put the kits in the car, and I'll put this in my bag. And anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed it, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you didn't like it, go ahead and hit that dislike button. Um, and if I would appreciate it if you do either one of those, go ahead and hit the comment section up and tell me why you did or did not like this video. And again, if you'd like to kind of keep track of what this channel is doing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you next time.